Leo, hello, how are you, beautiful soul? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is seriously a business genius. His information is down below. But without further ado, uh, Leo, let's dive right in. Here we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Ace of Swords coming out first. Universe is saying, look, in this time of adversity right now, look, persevere because when you persevere through this energy blockage, that's when all of the insights come. That's when all of the clarity comes. So right now, just know that you are healing old wounds and I know things seem a little bit stuck. You're trying to figure out what way to go, but just know that you are going to receive the clarity that you need as long as you just keep going. Okay. And furthermore, if you've had any creative downloads or any type of inspired sort of downloads uh, that you're kind of thinking like, Oh, that's interesting. It's, the universe is saying, validating that this is exactly the route you want to take. Okay. You want to move forward with it because it is going to lead you to the direction that you want to go. Okay. Here we have the Knight of Cups. So this is a connection, a love offering, or this is also a validation that the uh, project that you're undergoing is going to be successful. Okay. So more than ever is a time to really get your boundaries set. Okay. Energetically, what works for you and what doesn't work for you, because it does look like things are going to be speeding up here in the next little bit, Leo. Okay. There's going to be some major changes and shifts in your reality. And it is time for you to get really clear about who you are and what you want in your life. That way you're going to be able to take the necessary action steps so that the universe can push you forward. Cause again, the universe will only give us what we're ready for. So if we're letting the universe know, Hey, I'm ready. This is what I want. And then we put ourselves in a position where we are energetically, uh, comfortable and ready for it by adopting this sense of adventure, almost like we're ready for anything, like bring it on universe. I'm ready. And again, on an energetic level, it means that we have to be engaging in activities that show the universe that we're ready, right? Perhaps action steps need to be taken place. You know what I mean? Um, or, um, you know, taking care of ourselves on a, nourishing and grounding level, right? Letting the universe know, Hey, I'm ready. I'm taking care of myself. I'm ready for this. And speaking of that, I'm going to, uh, jump off of the, the uh, career for a minute and jump into love. Cause I do sense there's a connection here as well, Leo. And this love is, uh, going to manifest and materialize because of that, those action steps you are taking, showing the universe you are ready. Cause again, whenever we take care of ourselves, it, it shows that we love ourselves, right? We're nurturing ourselves and love is attracted to love. So the more that you love yourself and take care of yourself, it means that is the degree of love that you are going to attract into your life. This is what we're looking for, right? Because if we don't take care of ourselves and then we expect love to walk into our life, it's not going to be the relationship that you're looking for. You're going to be wondering why is it that I keep attracting the same, you know, dead end relationships? Why is that I keep attracting um, these people that uh, just don't seem to be a match for me. And it always comes from an energetic level, right? So some type of program in there, right? And so just know that, you know, this always generally, this does come from um, childhood or from a degree of how we feel about ourselves. So be mindful of that. Okay, Leo, um, be the change you want to see is what I just heard. Be the change you want to see. And that always comes from going within that hermit card. Beautiful. So right now it's a time, Leo, universe is saying, look, take some time for introspection. Okay. Self-awareness. Look, you can't help nobody or be the best version of yourself. If you don't put energy into yourself, universe is saying you don't need to go out and seek or find anything. Okay. You don't need to seek out, go find love. You don't need to go and find the perfect job or what your purpose is. You don't need to, you need to attract it to you. You need to let it come to you. The only way you're going to be able to do this is if your light shines bright right now, I feel like your light is being dimmed and I feel like all you need to do is take a little bit of time with yourself. Okay. More time than not. It means you want to say no to those friends, uh, you know, on those nights that you don't want to go say no, spend time with yourself, be your own best friend, you know, go hiking alone in the woods. That's the most profound level of clarity I have ever received is literally hiking in the woods by myself, right? Uh, maybe take your dog with you if you have one, cause that's nice, but uh, take some time with yourself. Okay. Really spend time with yourself. Leo universe is saying that, Hey, look, the answers are here for you, but unless you take time to stop and listen, you're not going to be able to hear them because because if we're in our own heads too often, what's going to happen is that we are speaking, right? Our minds are speaking 
It means we're not listening. When we're in our heart center, we're listening. Our hearts are open, able to receive. When we're in our ego mind, we're speaking, trying to get the answer, figure out the answers for ourselves. And we all know how that goes. And we all know how that works. You know what I'm saying? So just know that right now is the time more than ever to just, ooh, okay, this is good. Be open-minded to anything. And again, when we are not open-minded, it is because we are too particularly attached to a specific outcome, okay? And when we, why we are attached to an outcome is because we're fearful that it's not going to go the way our ego mind has projected it to go. We need to let all of this go. We need to let all of this go because the universe works in mysterious ways and the desires that you want to come into your life are not going to come in the package that you want it to come. They are, it's not going to show up how you want it to go. Sorry, spoiler alert, Leo, but where, however you want things to unfold, it's going to unfold in the way that the universe has put in place so that it benefits the greater good of all, right? It's, we are, it's important, but at the same time, very unimportant. Think of like a grain of sand on a beach, right? We're all important for the role that we play, but at the same time, very insignificant. You know what I'm saying? So we always want to make sure that we don't want to put too much placement on the control of the outcome because it, 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 it sort of has this level of needing to control as opposed to just allowing the universe to work out what needs to be worked out so that everyone's happy. You know what I'm saying? And we want everyone to be happy. When everyone's happy, the energy feels good. And when the energy feels good, everybody gets what they want. We feel good as well. Understand that you are building the stability that is required to get you to the next level of the game. I know it doesn't necessarily feel like that, but every single lesson and experience we undertake always is there for a reason, okay? Always for a reason. So we want to be mindful of that. That's why we always want to know who we are. When we take time to know who we are, then we are able to stand our ground whenever there is differences of opinions or maybe the energy gets really um, dense. You know what I'm saying? So really, really dense. And we want to be mindful about, okay, well, you know what? This works for me and this doesn't work for me. And again, remember, the more time you spend with yourself and build your level of magnetism, the more you just attract things into your life, okay, right? So if you want something to come into your life, say, for instance, you want money to flow into your life, right? Or you want love to flow into your life. You ask the universe, universe, this is what I require. This is what I would like, please. Thank you, right? Order it off to the universe. And the universe is like, no problem. I will do that for you. All you have to do is make sure that you live your life as happy as possible. Because if you're happy, your magnetism is up here and you're attracting all things that make you happy and the universe can communicate with you, okay? Because universe is saying that, look, with that spirit, you are undergoing, again, significant changes. And I can see that with the tower, right? There's Your life is going to be moving forward pretty fast here in the next little while, Leo. So be ready for it, right? Be ready for it and just know that things are changing for you in the for the greatest good. And in the meantime, just make sure that you are taking care of all the small things that you have to take care of. And this, this really helps us get through... Um, turbulent phases or maybe times in our life where we feel a little bit ungrounded or feeling like, you know, we're in that middle phase where, where our manifestations haven't quite manifested, but we feel them. We feel things working. Keep yourself busy. Okay. Keep yourself busy. Things that you like, things that are productive. You know what I mean? We always have to have a level of productivity as well as creativity. So make sure you're meshing the two of those together just to get you the best results out of this life. And what did I just say, right? The universe validating that. Embrace the in-between. So you're in that in-between phase, right? So just know that, no, things are not where they're going to end up. And you're also not where you started either. So keep your mind and your awareness on always what you long for most, right? So, and you want to come from a place of not like needing it or wanting it, but like you already have it, expect it. It's expected. It's your birthright, first of all. So please expect it because really you can have anything you desire, right? So expect what you want and then replay that memory or replay that visualization in your head, right? Uh, that's the most important thing to remember. It's like, say you always wanted um, a boat. Say you always wanted a boat, okay? Instead of thinking like, oh, one day I'm gonna have a boat. It's gonna be so nice. I'm gonna go to this lake or this ocean, you know, None of that. Instead, you're going to be like, my boat is awesome. I have this renovated and I got this cool kitchen. It looks just like this. I've already planned. We got this trip planned here. You know what I mean? Talk as if you already have it, right? Expect the best. Same with relationships, same with jobs, same with money. Expect it and simply just allow the universe to guide you, okay? Um, because again, whatever we expect is always going to come to fruition, okay? Now, know that with Ant Spirit, it may be, uh, you may get better results if you collaborate, build a team work with individuals, um, you know, work together, working together, you know, 
the, the, a lot of the programs here sort of instill a level of separation. You know, you should do things by yourself. You should work by yourself. You should build by yourself, but it's just create by yourself, but it's just, we're all connected. And there's always a reason why somebody is always in our life. There's no coincidences. So be mindful about the people in your life and see how you can use them to empower you or to work with you or to help you get you to the next stage of the, of the game here. Cause again, teamwork makes the dream work. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Leo. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.